surroundings and find out about the different rare breeds. So we're going to be speaking to John, the farm manager. Hello, I'm John. I'm farm manager at Lanson College Estate in West Sussex. I'm here today to talk to you about the way we farm in a conservation and eco-friendly manner um, in an aim to supply local restaurants and butchers with good quality local produce. One of those we supply is a schooner in just over here, only about a mile away. Here at Lanson College, so we're a conservation farm, educationally minded, and to show visitors and students what we do, we farm seven different breeds of sheep. I'm stood here at the moment with our downland breeds, which is Dorset and South Downs. There's a few other breeds thrown in amongst these. We actually run our sheep in three different flocks, so that each flock gets the right grazing and the right land content for what it needs. We don't farm on easy land. We're farming quite difficult land, quite hard rolling pastures. And we run our flocks on arable folds, which is a traditional way of farming. So when the crops are cut, the sheep go on top of where the crops were to clear up any waste grain and waste stuff on the top and the weeds and then they go back onto pasture. At the moment we're in the middle of shearing, we just started doing that and our first lambs that were born earlier this year are just starting to finish. The lambs we've got here are predominantly downland, uh, South Downs and Dorset Downs. They finish with a good fat content, finish about 18 to 20 kilograms in weight and you end up with a very good traditional sheep for the area. We also do a range of other sheep, Jacobs, Castle Morritt, Shetland, Wiltshire Horn and Suffolk. And all of those sheep produce a different meat quantity and a different size and flavour. And it's important the way we rear our sheep is slow reared. So they eat grass, very little concentrate food and they're left to get on with things as naturally as they possibly can. We try to do the best for them. We lamb outdoors, we don't lamb in a barn which is a very intensive process and we try to let the sheep get on with it themselves in a natural manner but we're there to help if they need it. All of this is also encompassed with supplying the food out which goes to restaurants and we have a good range of different lamb products through the different quality lambs that we have which can be provided all year through. So we go from spring lambs right the way through to autumn and then if people require it also mut it, mutton and hog it. Hog it is basically a sheep over a year old then after three year old is classed as mutton. All of it has a different flavour, all of it has a use and all of it can be eaten. And with the way it's reared and a downland environment, you get a really good difference in every type of sheep. Thank you. 